So what really is the recursive call stack? Let's think about the Fibonacci sequence f at n. So by default, we have that f of 0 is equal to 0, and f of 1 is equal to 1. Those are our base cases. But more generally, for any n greater than 1, we have that f at n is f at n minus 1 plus f at n minus 2. It's the sum of the previous two values. So if we needed something like f at 3, well, this is going to build what's called a recursive call stack. So f at 3 needs the values of f at 2 and f at 1. So f at 3 needs to figure out what f of 2 is, but f of 2, that actually also needs f at 1 and f at 0. We get f at 1, and it's going to return the result of 1 to the return address that's stored in this function call. Now notice this recursive call stack is going to take up O of n space. The recursion is n deep because we start at n, and we only start relieving space after we get to a base case. So f of 1 turns into its value of 1, and f at 0 turns into its value at 0, so that means f at 3 will evaluate just to the value of 2.